9 30 16 so 9 30 16 you can turn your strategy on and you start looking for long side setups how we can educate traders how to take advantage of the moves in is that your the automated strategy will pull you in the market based upon this first zone so when it hits this zone which it did on the first one what was it there's your first one And then here's your second one. Here's your second zone where it hit. Where was it? It turned all six green here. So here it turned all six green again. So if you missed the first one, you could turn your strategy on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn the strategy on up here. Right when it first turns all six green, wait for the wait for the strategy to fill. The strategy filled over here. They got the first target. Runner got stopped out on the second target. This first one was 91 and a half. Uh, the last target it hit was 10 and a quarter. Um, as far as the target goes, this third target. So that was over 20 uh, S&P point potential just off of that first run, off of this momentum trade. So you can use the momentum chart to wait for it to first turn all green or all red. And then you come over here and you could actually just turn on the strategy and let the strategy implement the setup. So because everything is pre-built into the strategy already, your targets, your stops, and everything. So that's one way that uh, we're going to train and educate traders how to use this update that's coming out to you is you can, the automated strategy uh, is designed to work with the zones. So the best zone trades are momentum. So if you have all six green or all six red, that's when the momentum of the market can come in and then and, and then you can uh, you can jump in the market so you know here we go again here's the three trades it did so far on the on the automated so if you look at the automated with momentum the momentum came in here that's when it turned all six green or all six red that's when it got momentum momentum starts shooting through the roof right here all six zones were turning green on a momentum chart so the strategy can be uh, turned on and then Here's the trades is taken. Now, I would I'd, I only like wave the first this wave and this wave. So this is what's called wave three, and this is what's called wave five. Five. So that's wave three. Oops, wave three and wave five. Those are your two important waves. And then you look for possibly a trend change or an ABC patterns. Now, what happened over here? And I'll show you another trade setup that you can take. So in other words, when it first turns all six green or all six red, a strategy can be turned on, and you got your all your stops already set, um, your targets already set. You can do the micros this way, you can do your big contracts this way, what have you. But then these are your two biggest waves. I like the wave three, wave five on Elliott wave. That those are impulse waves. So, or you can just turn it on for the first wave. But these tend to be the two biggest waves of the pattern. Now you can see what happened. I have a continuous ATR in the update. This is my continuous ATR. This is a short if you want it. This is a break retest trade. So there's your short. Now this is off of uni. I'm using an uni of a 113.13. So this is the update version that Gerald's uh, uh, locking to send out to everybody. And it's kind of neat because the ATR will be continuous. So not only can you use it with our momentum chart now, because momentum said to pop in the market, right? The momentum chart said to pop in the market. Let me skinny it down. When it first turned all six green and all six uh, red, right there it turned all six green, right there it turned all six green, and then you let the, uh, let the strategy pull you in. But the cool thing about it is, is this, not only did it catch all three zones, it caught the retest short zone. What is this? When you break, below the green ATR that's been printing and you get green optic color speed bars, not red, red's for buys. When you get green optic color speed bars, then you look for the first retest short as long as it doesn't close outside the zone. And this is your short. Look how big a short this is. The fill would have been the low of this bar. So you're looking at what, 05. It got as low as 92. So you're talking about right there, 13 to 15 S&P points, depending on your fill, 13 to 14 S&P points. 
to the downside just off of this chart by itself on this uh, update we're getting out to all traders. All right? Now this is just one uni using, but what you're trying to do is you're trying to put yourself in a position of momentum. And that all started with the momentum chart. Okay? So that is uh, that's how we trade the momentum and the new update we're getting out for you. So you can literally trade the automated strategy when there's momentum coming in the market. Right there. It's got to turn all six green, all six red. When it first does that, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's where you would turn it on. And then the strategy knows where the zone is already because that's pre-programmed on the update. The strategy works with the indicator now. The arrows will fire automatically. And then it caught this wave, this wave, this wave, and it just caught the wave short also. Okay? So that's how we like to do it with momentum. A lot of you traders out there will look to cherry pick this trade to catch momentum. So Gerald, go ahead and name this how to use automation with momentum. 